Thank you to Audio for sponsoring this video. Whenever we encounter performance claims touting a speed boost of up to four times faster, we naturally approach them with a certain amount of skepticism. In the tech world, such assertions often turn out to be carefully cherry-picked statistics designed more for marketing purposes than reality. However, in this case, Blackmagic's claims of up to four times faster neural engine performance for AMD and two times faster for Nvidia are completely true. Isn't it nice when companies just make their software better? I think so. Today I want to talk about some pretty exciting uh, news in the world of DaVinci Resolve, and that is around their new update, Resolve 18.6. And just to get everything on the table and to maybe preempt a few comments, yes, I have seen uh, more people talking about issues with this specific release, especially around some like weird audio issues and trimming clips. I do totally expect that we'll see an update pretty soon for those specific issues. Blackmagic normally doesn't leave stuff like that too long. And I'll probably make a short video uh, immediately once that update gets out just to help people um, clear up the most amount of issues. But in this video, I wanna talk about something uh, really good in that update. I had a video going over those initial changes in 18.6, lots of new features, but something that isn't exactly a feature were two specific lines in their update notes. We have lots of stuff, but under the general section, we have up to two times faster neural engine performance with NVIDIA Tensor RT and up to four times faster neural engine performance on modern AMD GPUs. Naturally, this was a little harder to show off than just some new features, and I had wanted to circle back to it and sort of, you know, uh, mock up some tests, but I'm not really like a benchmarking channel. Uh, but you know who is really great at benchmarks? Uh, Puget Systems. Puget's a great company. You might have seen them around the sort of the Resolve community before. They were a sponsor at ResolveCon, and they also put out tons of great like benchmarking information all the time um, as both hardware and software updates. And today, um, they released a really great report um, on this specific claim. And as we sort of teased at the beginning, it's pretty good news. But first, let's talk a little bit about what is included in neural engine features in Resolve. We have super scale upscaling, including the recently added uh, two times enhanced version, face refinement, tracking, and effects. We have the magic mask, including the person mask and object mask. We have automatic depth maps. We have AI relighting. We have optical flow to uh, slow down footage and generate those frames. We have both generating transcripts and creating subtitles from audio. Both of those are new in 18.5 and are in sort of that neural engine camp, as well as smart reframing and scene cut detection. Now Puget ran tests on all of these systems using uh, both an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4080 and an AMD Radeon 7900 XTX. I don't know as much about AMD. <laughs> and in their report, which of course I will link, we have some raw data, we love data. And here you can see um, most of these in frames per second. We have all of those different uh, neural engine processes and they are compared in Resolve 18.5.1 and Resolve 18.6. And you can see if you compare number to number, um, some, some good stuff, or you know, we can just look at a chart, which is much easier. We've got a real pretty chart here talking about neural engine performance relative to 18.6. So from teal being uh, NVIDIA, blue being AMD, and these are times faster than the last version of Resolve. And here you can see the gains aren't, you know, equally spread out. A fair amount of things like face refinement, audio transcription, video stabilization, creating subtitles, and to a lesser extent, a little bit of the depth map and super scale. Some stuff uh, didn't really see any improvements or like really marginal ones. But then on a few select effects, we see really incredible improvements. Let's just look at uh, the NVIDIA system real quick on scene cut detection. That is almost twice as fast. Optical flow is twice as fast. Magic mask tracking um, when under better quality, um, which will get you some of those finer edges, again, twice as fast, whereas faster tracking is about the same. And then also depth map looking at about twice as fast. If you're in specific workflows where you can use these RTX cards with that Tensor uh, RT hardware, um, you'll see some really impressive results results, but it gets wilder once we look at AMD. And this, I think, is a pretty big deal because the uh, NVIDIA gains were specifically called out as linked to that hardware in, I, I believe, exclusively the RTX cards, those NVIDIA RT cores or hardware. Blackmagic isn't crediting these AMD gains with any, you know, special hardware on the chip. Resolve is just able to take advantage of, of what's there in the raw power in the card that much more. And you can see we have a few clear standouts, Magic Mask across better and faster, 
and optical flow, and then to a slightly lesser extent, the person mask, which is kind of linked to magic mask. That magic mask tracking and optical flow um, up to four times as fast, you know, maxing out at four and a half times faster than the last version, just in a free update in Resolve. If you're using some of these tools on this hardware, this is only good news. But it is important to call out that we might be seeing larger gains from AMD because they did uh, start out quite a bit behind. And that uh, brings us to our next little graph we have, directly comparing those two GPUs doing the same tasks. Again, this is now in 18.6. So with some of those gains, you can see uh, Magic Mask, that faster tracking, is now you know pretty equal one to one and uh, Magic Mask got that massive bump with this update. Across the board, NVIDIA is, is going to be doing better at this point, or Resolve, rather, is doing a better job at taking advantage of the power in these RTX cards. Of course, a lot of that dedicated hardware does help as well, with a few of the standouts be smart reframing and the depth map set to faster. Relight's doing great too, and the person mask, super scale, you get a slight bump. Of course, I mean, slight bump, still like two and a half times faster, that's not nothing. <laughs> And Puget specifically uh, calls out that in the previous version, uh, NVIDIA averaged nearly three times faster in these neural engine tasks, but in 18.6, their lead has dropped down to only two times. So while that still is something for, you know, AMD to work on, I guess, um, they're also uh, very quickly to correctly call out um, that these are on specifically that sort of AI enhanced neural engine tasks and that this AMD card, you know, is a terrific GPU. It has a lot of raw power, specifically for a lot of other tasks in Resolve, like encoding, processing, uh, fusion, and GPU effects tests. I will, you know, agree with this conclusion that Puget puts together. The idea that just in a lot of these updates or tech announcements in general, it's very easy to see, you know, two times, four times, 16 times the detail. <laughs> It's really hard to know when you just see a headline what's in store for you when you go into the system. And even with something like this, there are lots of effects that are, you know, taking advantage of the neural engine features in Resolve. Some of those are barely touched by this effect, but if you're using some of those specific features um, that were, you know, made much better because of this, you're in luck. It's hard to know what's what at first glance, but Puget Systems is making it easier for all of us. And speaking of making things easier for all of us, this video is sponsored by Audio. I can do a whole lot myself because of the creative tools that are made accessible in DaVinci Resolve, but I cannot make my own music or amazing sound effects. Luckily, I have Audio, a music subscription service that is perfect for creators of all types. Not only do you have music from hundreds of artists with new tracks being uploaded every day, you also have a library of over 30,000 sound effects. And Audio makes it super easy to get all of it with an annual Audio Pro plan. Audio also takes a lot of stress out of this world of licensing music and sound effects. They've got a great license that covers YouTube videos, uh, podcasts, video games, films. If you want to make a film, you can use their music in your film. And because I know a lot of my audience uh, wants to become editors or are editors working with clients, I specifically wanted to call out that the audio license does cover commercial work for external clients. If you're doing any work for a company with under 100 employees, you're good to go. If you need to go above and beyond that, uh, Audio has enterprise pricing as well. They think of everything. And here's one of my favorite parts. Um, any song you download while your subscription is active is yours to continue using in projects, even if you choose to eventually end your subscription. And all the perks around audio are great, but of course, it comes down to the music. Luckily, you can head right over audio, uh, link in the description, and browse their entire library before you commit to anything. There, you'll not only get a taste of the music itself, but also all the uh, categories and filtering options, which I'm a big fan of. To check out the Audio Pro plan, or to just learn more about audio in general, uh, check out the link in the description and use the code PATRICKS at checkout for 70% off your first year of the Audio Pro plan. And doing so does directly support this channel as well. Thank you, and thank you to Audio for sponsoring this video. That's all I've got for you today. I would love to know if any of your specific workflows uh, lean into these neural engine tools and these updates are something you'll be able to take advantage of. I do think it is a very good sign when Resolve updates in these specific ways. Um, they aren't always the biggest flashiest features, um, but they make doing our job easier for a lot of us by just, hey, making the software better. <laughs> like I said, keep an eye out for an update video um, covering any future updates of Resolve, especially um, some of these 18.6 bugs. Hopefully they'll clear up soon. Stick around for any of that information. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.